Here's a look at a mostly bygone type of instrument approach, a PAR, Precision Approach Radar Procedure. When you fly a PAR, a specially trained controller uses a short range, highly accurate radar display to talk you down. The controller guides you left and right to remain on the extended runway centerline, while also directing you to adjust your descent to follow the proper vertical path. In effect, you fly an ILS, but instead of using localizer and glide slope indicators to help you remain on track, you follow the controller's instructions. PAR were standard practice, especially at military airfields in the decades following World War II. You can see dramatized but realistic depictions of PAR in movies, such as The Conclusions of Strategic Air Command, starring Jimmy Stewart, and the first film in the Airport franchise, released in 1970. The radar displays and other electronics have been updated since, but the basic process remains the same even today. Although a PAR could be useful in an emergency, as in those films, today it's unlikely you'll have a radar approach available nearby if your primary navigation equipment fails. But as I'll explain a bit later, flying PAR approaches is still an excellent exercise. In the U.S., only about 100 approaches with radar minimums remain in the system. Most of these procedures are at military bases, and the armed forces still use PAR in daily operations. Some military facilities allow civilian aircraft to fly practice PAR approaches. The controllers need to practice guiding aircraft in, and they're usually happy to provide the service. You just can't touch down on the runway at the end of the approach. In this video, I flew the PAR runway 15 at Gray Army Airfield, near Tacoma, Washington. It's mostly home to helicopters, but it also serves fixed-wing aircraft and is part of the Joint Base lewis mccord complex. There is no approach chart for a PAR. Instead, the critical details for radar procedures are shown in the Radar Minimums listings in the Terminal Procedures publication for each region in which radar approaches are available. Often when pilots fly a PAR, they load the corresponding ILS for the runway as backup. But for this video, I didn't want to reference localizer and glide slope displays. Instead, I hope to use the PAR to make an important point about instrument flying. As you'll see, following the controller's verbal commands forces you to use the control performance method of instrument flying. You don't have needles to chase, so you must smoothly and precisely fly specific headings while simultaneously making small pitch and power adjustments to track the correct vertical path. A PAR is a great exercise in precise aircraft control. Approach Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot, just southeast of Bremerton, 2500. Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot, stay with us. Yes, sir, I have an IFR on file down to Olympia, but I was hoping to get the PAR at Gray and then an approach at Olympia. So 1546 Foxtrot, block 4641 and ident maintain VFR. 4641, there's your ident, maintain VFR, 46 Foxtrot. Uh, uh, 46 Fox, I would contact two south of uh, Bremerton. Did you want to do this BFR or did you want an IFR clearance? Whatever works best for you. Um, Either or, it's, um, um, whatever you'd like. I'll stay on the IFR then, 46 Fox. 1546 Fox, right, you're clear to Gray Army Airfield via radar vectors. Turn right, heading 130, and just going to maintain 2000. Okay, clear to Gray Field via radar vectors, heading 130, 2000. Bonanza 46 Fox. And then 456 Fox Trap, this will be a vector for the PAR. Advised we have the weather in Nodem's at Gray, altimeter 39 or 49 air. We have information called at Gray, 46 Fox Trap. Okay, we're getting set up to do the uh, PAR at Gray Field, runway 15. Uh, 72 Charlie, turn left heading 340. Turn left heading 340, 167 Charlie. 46 Fox Trap, flight heading 150. Heading, one, heading 150, 46 Fox Trap. We have the weather, you know, temperatures are set. They'll probably give us minimums of 500. The airplane's ready for the approach. We'll fly it in our standard configuration. I've loaded the ILS just for reference, but I'm not going to load it up because I want to fly this as if it were a, a real PAR. They're taking us toward uh, this initial fix of Cricky, it looks like, which is on the ILS. RC-4180, going to that then. Our 903 register terminated, change to advisory is approved, that's actually on the go. I think the frequency there is 28.2, but we'll... 
Uh, 64180, uh, do it a contact him on northeast of Olympia, say request. Uh, 46 Foxtrot, after completion of the approach, fly heading to 100, maintain uh, 2000. After the completion of the approach, heading 100, 2000, Bonanza 46 Foxtrot. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, actually after the 100 heading, maintain 3000, let's be 3000. 3000, 46 Foxtrot. After the completion, heading a right, it'll be a left turn, heading 100 and then uh, 3000, okay. So 46 Foxtrot, turn uh, 3 degrees left. Three degrees left, four six four. Uh, eight uniform Sierra, correct to Tano. Correct to Tano for eight uniform Sierra. So four six five right here, turn is at about a one forty seven heading correct. Affirmative, four six five right, Seven two Charlie, contact approach on one two eight point five. I'm getting. Contact Seattle approach one two eight point five. Uh, one six seven two Charlie. There's uh, 1546 Foxtrot, contact grade GCA on 128.3, we'll start the only go. 128.3, 46 Foxtrot. Fast aircraft unanswered, Bacon. Low grade Bonanza, 1546 Foxtrot, 2000, hitting 147. Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, grade final controller, approaching glide path, well right of course, turn left, hitting 130, how do you hear? Here loud and clear, 46 Foxtrot, hitting 130. 46 Foxtrot, do not acknowledge further transmissions. Begin descent from above glide path, passing five miles from touchdown. Well, right, of course, starting to correct. Above glide path, going further above. Runway 15. Runway 15, wind 350 at 3, cleared low approach. Report executing your missed approach. Above glide path, coming down slowly. Right of course and correcting. Fly heading 140. Four miles from touchdown above glide path coming down slowly. Three green. Turn right heading 145. Slightly above glide path coming down slowly. Slightly right of course and correcting heading 145. Three and one half miles from touchdown on glide path. On glide path. On glide path. Heading 145, you're holding slightly right. Turn left, heading 142. On glide path, three miles from touchdown. Going above, slightly above glide path, slightly right of course, and correcting slowly. Fly heading 140, right and holding. Going above, slightly above, two and one half miles from touchdown. Slightly right and correcting, heading 140 now. Above glide path and holding. Slightly right and correcting. Turn right heading 143. Slightly above glide path coming down. Two miles from touchdown, fly heading 145. On glide path. On glide path. On glide path. On glide path, heading 145, you're on course. On glide path, one and one half mile from touchdown. On glide path. On glide path. On glide path, just drifting slightly left, turn right, heading 147. One mile from touchdown. Continue right turn, heading 149er. On glide path. Slightly left and correcting, 149er. On glide path, that decision height. On glide path, slight left, correcting heading 149 or one half mile from touchdown. Going missed, 46 Fox Trot. 46 Fox Trot, Roger, and confirm Seattle gave you uh, 100 heading up to 3000. Affirmative, 46 Fox Trot. 46 Fox Trot, Roger, contact sale, departure, see you later. Thanks for the approach. Thank you, 46 Fox Trot. Seattle Approach, Bonanza 1546, four, Hogsbitz on the miss off of Gray, turning, uh, heading 100. Zero, zero. So, 1546, Hogsbitz, Seattle Approach, head 
Contact a mile east of uh, Gray Army Airfield at a one three uh, one thousand four hundred. Climb and maintain three thousand. Stay next request. Okay, that altitude checks, and we'd like to do uh, RNAV approach at eleven RNAV three five. I guess it is. Okay. 